what advice should I give my elderly parents for what's coming? I would just say you got to own some gold and silver. It's, I don't think I would, you know, I wouldn't allocate more than, than the 10% to gold. And then, you know, part of my 10% to the speculative side of my portfolio to silver, the miners. I would also uh, suggest they own a little Bitcoin. Again, let's not join the, the cult of Bitcoin, but I think you got to look at asset classes that are outside of the system that don't have counterparty risk. And I don't know of any better than gold and Bitcoin. So I, I would start there. And then I think, I mean, right now there's some great dividend producing stocks that would most likely benefit from an inflationary environment. And in the energy space, copper, if you could get a good copper producer that throws off a dividend, because I think copper would do well in an inflationary environment. I think copper would do well in a, a, in an environment where the governments are trying to push green energy. Um, not going to debate whether that's good or bad. It's just um, it's going to require a lot of copper. So if you can get a good copper producer at a fair price that's paying you to own it, preferably a cheap price, but that's paying you to own it, that that may be interesting. And I would also suggest they have, if they have a mortgage, just make sure that it's a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. They're, they're, they're short in the dollar and that's kind of their dollar short. And if they got a rental property that pays them to own it, while at the same time, you've got that 30 year fixed rate mortgage on it. So you're getting paid to short the dollar. You got a positive carry on the trade. I like that even better. Um, obviously real estate's in a bubble right now. So you gotta be very, very, very careful very, very careful of the underlying asset that you're owning to get to the cheap debt and the cash flow. I had this conversation with Kiyosaki the other day where uh, we were at dinner. Uh, I was at dinner with uh, Robert and his wife and, uh, and, and Mark Moss. And uh, we were talking about how now it's, it's the, the debt in most people's mind was the liability. Robert would argue that it's not, but in most people's mind, the debt was always the liability and the property was the asset. Now we're in an environment where it's almost the opposite. <laughs> the asset is like the liability, the property, and the debt is actually the asset. It's weird. It's just kind of a, a shift in, in thinking that I was going over with uh, with Kiyosaki. So that's that's, I think, what I would tell my own mother to do, Tom. So that's probably the best advice I can give you.